Josh Hansen's latest Uber ride took a wrong turn when Omaha police say he picked up 25-year-old Dijon Lucius near 45th and Burdett early Sunday morning. I'm about ready to read off the address we're going to and just pow, 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 pow. The guy hits me about 15 times. Hansen says Lucius was wearing brass knuckles. You can still feel the lumps, that's for sure, so he got me good. Police say Lucius demanded Hansen's wallet. He handed it over and tried to tase Lucius in the process. But Hansen says the 25-year-old jumped out of the car and ran. I just kind of shook off the cobwebs and I decided I wasn't going to take this. You know, I, nobody's going to rob me. So that's why I decided I'm just going to go get this guy. Hansen chased Lucius to Northwest Radial. Police arrived shortly after. They saw Lucius run from this car lot to a nearby gas station. Officers arrested him, recovering Hansen's cash. They say Lucius ditched the wallet in a nearby alley. If it worked on me, he'd do it again to somebody else. So I think it just, uh, it, I'm, I'm glad we caught him the first time around. An Uber spokesperson released this statement to KETV saying violence won't be tolerated. They've reached out to Hansen, blocked Lucius from the app, and are cooperating with police. With the College World Series in town, drivers will be busy. Hansen has advice for them. If you ever get to a point uh, that you are uncomfortable with the rider you're about ready to pick up, just cancel that ride, go on, and uh, you know they'll, they'll get somebody else. Don't worry about them, but keep yourself safe. Lucius will have to pay $30,000 to get out of jail. He's due back in court on July 16th. Reporting live, Taylor Barth, KETV, Newswatch 7.